never t- noticed it before. <laughs> <laughs> That's that voice. What? Uh, never mind. No. Welcome to the Brown Bricks Podcast. The most amount of fun you can have while listening to a podcast. Yay! Yay. Welcome Yay. to Jackson's birthday. Yay! Yay. It's my if you want to wish Jackson a happy birthday, email the Please. Brown Bricks Podcast at gmail.com. I said the, but don't put a the in there. It's just Brown Bricks Podcast at gmail.com. So yes. Or uh, check out our Reddit page. Yeah. Yeah. R slash Brown Bricks Podcast. All right. We're actually remembering to right do the, uh, the plugs at the <laughs> beginning. The I'm pretty too. impressed. Hell yeah, dude. Do you have a Twitter? Is that still yeah, operational? Yeah, it's at well? Brown Bricks Pod. We tweeted, pod. like, one thing, I think, once at Elon. Shot some, shot, shot, shot some shot shots. Some fire, yeah. fire, fired some shots at Elon. And his support for the Babylon Bee. Very cringe. Not, Very cringe. Not cringe at all. Base, Steven. <laughs> all right. Well, for my birthday, I got a cool VR headset, and I've already had so much e-sex with cyber cyber goth chicks that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Um, it is pretty yeah, cool. Did you get the auto special, blow hookup? Jackson got a special avatar that, like, when he pulls the trigger on his little <laughs> yeah. hand things, like, his penis unsheaths. <laughs> mm-hmm. It pulls my chastity belt off for me without me even having to do anything. Did you get that auto blow set up? So yeah. when they're sucking your dick in the game... <laughs> when they it. suck your dick in the game, they suck your dick for real. Dick suck in real life. Um, when you come in the game, you come in real life. <laughs> Yeah, those game ads that are like, you won't last 30 seconds yeah, playing this. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Why would I, why would I do that? I want to wanna there's that one for longer. <laughs> there's that one Shigeru Miyamoto quote that's like... Uh, all <laughs> that's the, a real quote. <laughs> yeah, yep. and he says, uh, on all the video game ads that say, try not to come, they clearly are trying to provoke you into coming. <laughs> I think that's bad game that's design. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell your co-workers about this. <laughs> it's like, I, w- I wouldn't. I really <laughs> wouldn't tell them about it. I didn't think I do. <laughs> you just start deleting an email. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, really? I definitely yeah, shouldn't I should be doing that. CC my boss into this, should I? I'll BCC him, so. He does have to see it, yeah. no one else gets to know he saw it. Exactly. They're just like, well, I didn't send it to you. Look, you don't, you're not even CC'd on the email. <laughs> That's so funny that it's just like built into email handling. It's like secretly sending yeah. an email to someone else. You're like, what? What is the need for that? There's, it's have you ever. Office politics. Yeah. I know. Have you ever like been BCC'd on an email and then you replied because it was like asking for something that you knew about and so then you replied to it? You're like, what the fuck, dude? You're not supposed... Yeah, I replied to all. (laughs) And then, like... And I got, like, a talking to at my place. Because they're like, you're not supposed to reply to emails you're BCC'd on. And I'm like, well, then what the fuck was I supposed (laughs) to do? No one's answering the question. Yeah, being... I've never been BCC'd because I don't get emails. Black cock. (laughs) Black (laughs) cock. Yep. BCC. Big creel cock. (laughs) Creel. Creel. Cajun, yeah. the uh, Cajun cock. That's better. Yeah. The raging Cajun. <laughs> uh, but uh, I haven't done much with the VR headset. It is fun. It's fun to like have it on and look around and stuff. Uh, it's like the Oculus thing with like. It's the Oculus Quest Two, which we are not sponsored by. Uh, <laughs> we could just, be. Send us another yeah. one. <laughs> that's just what I got. Uh, my, my mom got it for me. Um, Oculus, like, you want to reach fifteen listeners? <laughs> send us a device worth hundreds of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> It's only three hundred bucks, so not bad for yeah, like a yeah. modern VR, uh, and it's like new, so it's mm. better than the original Oculus Quest, I'm sure. Hearing hearing some of the people who were like talking about it, apparently Facebook's just taking huge like because they're just like, all right, we just need VR in people's hands, so it's like people can adopt it. Because the only reason the Oculus Quest is like a hundred dollars and not like a thousand dollars is because they're just like. Will take huge. They're taking the hit to yeah. like get people. Well, sure, yeah, okay. that's that's believable. So what, yeah. what is the most like? What is the biggest barrier to entry for the market? Is it the, uh, the power of gra- like? Well, the, the thing about the Oculus having? Quest Two is that it's standalone. If you didn't want to have a PC set up for it, you can play like a number of games on it without having to hook it up to a PC. You're just not going to okay. be able to play like stronger games that are like more graphics intensive, like Half Life Alex. And stuff that I actually give a shit about playing, as opposed to like the little baby games you can get on on the quest itself. They're like, can you hey, play you can pick this ball up and throw it across <laughs> the room. And I'm like, 
Wow, that's awesome. So you don't have future. to like hook it up to anything. You don't have to, no. But if you want to play on PC, you do have to hook it up. And I got a little cable to hook it up to my PC right now, uh, and that works perfectly fine. I don't know. It's pretty easy the, to set up. And are you worried that the enhanced realism will make you a violent sociopath? <laughs> I'm, I'm worried that it's gonna glue itself to my skull and I'm not going to be able to take I'm going to have to like be like SAO, a cyber you're going to be yeah. stuck in the VR except like less impressive because like, you can still hear <laughs> yeah. the stuff yeah. outside and like talk to people and be like it's just stuck on my face I just cannot yeah. see you just, just you're like lying down I'm like, just stuck in a bad MMO <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> like not even that realistic looking thing. <laughs> yeah. it would be funny if you're just like you just decide to like put that on like no life simulator it and they're just like Jackson come on get up and you're just like Please. lying down and you're like, no, I'm stuck in the virtual world right now. <laughs> it's like that you're one like, no, anime. You're not. I can pull this off your head. If no, I it'll fry it. my brain if you do that. <laughs> yeah, it'll I'll fucking kill, kill myself. <laughs> you pull this there'd off. There'd be my head. there'd be certain people who like if you told them that they'd be like, I the VR it's like next to his brain could do that. I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> But um, you just like stick frayed wires in your ear. <laughs> it will kill me immediately. Yeah, set up a saw trap to, <laughs> yeah. remove, to remove this. Like, like, why did you do this? Because <laughs> when you die in the game, you die for real. Like, I don't know. I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that was the thing about like about that. Sword Art Online. Like I do like how after like Kirito got out of the game, he was just like this fucking uh, this fucking like anemic mess because he was <laughs> yeah. like in the hospital for two years in real time. Yeah, he had a catheter up his PP that whole time. While yeah, he was killing fools. <laughs> well, he had to. I was that no because he had the IV drip that he was walking with. Because I remember he was like Asuna and he like got out of bed, but <laughs> I was thinking that he had like the catheter <laughs> <Yeah. in. laughs> and he's like carrying that like limping over to Asuna's bed yeah. but, fucking uh he like w- wakes up out of the VR he's like Asuna and he knocks over like a bedpan and like, <laughs> shit everywhere he's like oh uh, yes, I should have been more careful <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have been so hasty <laughs> oh, no. I'm not as life and, and agile as I was in game he was still he retained a lot of that agility though. which doesn't make any sense Wait, well he, he was in like real life translated somehow well, it was like muscle memory right cause he was like okay oh, I, sure yeah, I did it didn't <laughs> which literally he didn't do muscles he, like his muscles didn't do that but I guess like his brain was uh cause he like I mean he wasn't able to like do the things cause he didn't have like the muscles to accomplish it but he was able to See, like that's the thing that makes the least sense about Sora Online cause in regular VR you have to move to move in VR well, yeah, in VR, VR, no, online, it's like they the just teleport jack your you consciousness. Your yeah, nerve gear cuts off the ability for you to like mm-hmm. move with the rest of your body. So what it does is that it like cuts off basically your brain from like all of your That's like nervous so system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then so, like, yeah. so your signals from your brain like telling your arm to move just goes straight. And so thing. yeah, and then just, that would just yeah. do that. But they're still looking at like a screen down. inside the nerve. Gear, no, right? they're and it's like they're actually their consciousness is like in a digital world. Yeah. It uh, just looks like a because I think they cut off. They, they cut have off, like, the, like UI elements in that world, yeah. but like the thing the ring does just look like. Yeah. Technically, I don't know why with how it works with the how they explain it. Why well, you need like a big thing over your eyes, but yeah, <laughs> yeah it could, so it could just be like something small that sits yeah. on your head. It seems I think that because like that might be Excel World because I know the way they explain Excel it. Excel World is like a very far sequel to SAR. Yeah, right? where they like teleport into the digital world, basically. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's. There's a lot of, like... I, I love when that was a novel concept, right? When there were just yeah, people yeah. who were like, dude, you die in the game, you die for real. And it's the like, whoa, yeah. like, that's oh. awesome. Three. Um, SAO would be more realistic if it said, like, fucking Russia or some shit. Because, like, the yeah. idea that, like, <laughs> it cuts off your body's ability to, like, move, like, the motor function, like, <laughs> that would yeah, not be approved, approved in Japan, <laughs> right? Like, they're like, Russia's trying it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They do, but there's some guy who's like, "This is the future. Trust me." There's other people, other countries don't realize. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, how Russian would SAO memo? change if all the characters were like drunk Russians? Why they Gopniks? gotta be drunk? They're not drunk. Why they gotta be Gopniks? Yeah. Why can't they be like <laughs> like children of rich fucking oligarchs? oligarchs. <laughs> yeah, it's <Playing> true. Some <laughs> shitty Russian MMO. <laughs> oligarchs are like, sure, you can just fucking hook my kid up to this. Shit. <laughs> well, the only reason I think like Russia or like Czech Republic because I saw that one episode of that show where like with a xenon clinic where they like xenon is like this anesthetic that's like super effective but it's just hard to get xenon mm-hmm. so uh they fucking don't use it that often 
but in the Czech Republic, they let you use it fucking recreationally. <laughs> <laughs> and at this, like, one Why xenon clinic. And aesthetic. the people who administer the xenon are, of course, super fucking addicted to xenon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, this lady is, like, administering it to her. And there's someone that, well, not administering it to herself. Someone else is doing it. But, like, partway through, she's like, no more. <laughs> and she, like, reaches over and starts turning the dial. <laughs> and the guy's like, you're on camera right now. Like, <laughs> and it feels like the implication is, like, if he, they were just alone, he'd be like, yeah, fucking crank that shit up. <laughs> and then, like, when the, that fucking documentary ended, fucking, like, it ends with, like, a phone call, like, months later where he found out that, like, oh, the guy who's ministering to it himself overdosed on Xenon. <laughs> oh is, isn't God. that, like, what does it do for you? It's, an it's an anesthetic. anesthetic. It gets you so high. I think it's a dissociative, too. It's like okay. sniffing on markers, I'm sure, yeah, but that's, way that's, more intense. <laughs> Imagine dying from overdosing <laughs> yeah. on Sharpie sniffing. Like, it's just... Huffing a fucking marker until you die. Yeah. yeah, gluing two of them on the inside of your nose. Yeah, well, there's there's some good reviews on why Xenon is perfect. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's, it's good, good for aesthetic. aesthetic. All yeah. written by yeah. people yeah. horribly addicted to Xenon. That's, so, that's so funny. Like, it's a super good anesthetic. It's taking just an like, anesthetic yeah. to getting high, it is difficult as fuck. Funny to me. Just what? Passing out. Yeah. yeah, it's a noble. Well, yeah, it was so like it's I think hard as fuck to get. Some of the only Xenon addicts were probably the people who went to that Xenon clinic. Like, it's so hard to get that it's probably not like. There's not a lot of like. There's not Xenon. It's a clinic just or... for xenon. Yeah, it's this weird fucked up thing in the Czech Republic where like Russia gives them xenon because they have a bunch of xenon stockpiled. I don't know why. <laughs> Which is too terrifying. Like, they're so going to make stuff. a massive neon sign that says. Yeah, that's the other thing you can do with xenon. You can make lights. I mean, it's kind of unique in that like most anesthetics are like chemical like compounds or something, whereas like xenon is just an element. Which I, know, I think that's neat. Noble gases. Got a lot of lame. elements out there you can get high off on their own, you know. Yeah. What's yeah. so noble about the noble gases? Uh, uh they they don't they're inert. That's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah. noble of them. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they're the. Uh, it's like the first. They're like. Yeah, they don't. Row, they don't so. light on fire when you put them on are fire. They the ones a lot on the do. right. A lot of them yes. super light on. They're the right. them being inert. inert. <laughs> they're the ones on inert, the right. Are, yeah. Inert yeah. is the idea of like is the idea of like electron. Um, like you can't like it's it's. It's the way that you get like it has like fully it doesn't have like it has yeah, a neutral yeah. charge, right? No, no. So the valence electrons are yeah, full. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they're full. Yeah. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys took high school. <laughs> I remember that part after you said it. I'm, I'm yeah. taking fucking OCHEM two like right now, and I was just like, I was like, the electrons, they're like, there's, <laughs> they're, they're all of them, and they're there, and they're fine. Like that was one of the only things anymore. I ever understood about chemistry was valence electrons. I'm like, yeah, you it add up to eight. I How got is that it. the one? Thing? <laughs> that makes sense. That's one of the, eight, it's yeah. also one of the first things. So yeah. like before you like fall behind, and you're like, what the fuck? Is going on? <laughs> there is like a point in chemistry that everyone reaches where there's just like a cliff of like, all right, I don't, I kind of don't get what you said like right there and then after that it's all downhill because yeah. the moment that you're like well I didn't understand that last thing and then they just move on they move on in such a way where it's like oh if I didn't understand that none of what you're saying makes any sense yeah. and so unless I go back and like really learn it myself it's like you're fucked do you remember one time we were in a chem class I think you were you and Jax were in the same chem class with me and uh, a guy at our school his girlfriend got up from her chair and walked over to his table after Mr. Gah. left for a bit during the test oh, yeah. and just started, like, telling him the answers. <laughs> and then, like, before he came back, got Who's up, that? went back there, and sat down. <laughs> That's like, awesome. That? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's that so was fucking pretty cool. funny. Wait, why does Mr. Gah. just have, like, the test answers open? Right? No, no, she didn't take the test no. answers. She got, she knew, she, she studied knew more oh, than he did. Oh, okay. So she just got up and It was a whole racket, too. Sean was involved, too, right? I think there was, like, a whole table... I was just cheating and yeah. like telling well, him. The, I remember with like the, the reason that, or whatever. Well, it was I like just uh, took the hit. <laughs> the, the reason why, uh, the reason why, like that. I guess not like got exposed, but why it was like so fucking obvious was that I remember because Mister uh, our our like chem teacher, he was like. Yeah a weird guy who would grade people differently based purely on, like, whether he likes you more or Mr. not. Mr. Relish. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Al- Ketchup. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Mustard. Mr. So, Mr. Uh, what is it? Miracle Whip? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> if so you could guess who yeah. are, <laughs> what his last Mr. name is. Yeah, Mr. Miracle Whip, he went in and he, he would, like, grade people differently. And one time in particular, there was one of our classmates, Joe, and one of our classmates, Catherine. And... <laughs> Uh, basically they did 
the exact same test and got had the exact same answers and the exact same work because Joe copied everything off of Catherine, <laughs> but then Joe got like five points less than Catherine did <laughs> because he just he would grade girls easier. And there were, there were multiple girls in the class that were like, I know this is how this works, and I'm just going to... He's creepy yeah, and weird, but play, I'll just play yeah. off of it. And they're like, just right, it's let him like give you a back rub in the middle of the class now and again. Take the grade. And you get the grade. We're not <laughs> joking, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a joke that we, we had a high school teacher who would sexually harass the students. But that happened, and we're all just like, that's we pretty strange. We were very strange. complacent with it. We, <laughs> we were complacent <laughs> because like, we were all so grade-focused that yeah, about yeah, all yeah. the people who well, were getting sexually harassed or like I'm getting better grades so. well, also Me Too hadn't happened yet it's, yeah, 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 yeah. we weren't in the Me Too era at the time is it is it any wonder that Mr. Mustard retired almost exactly when Me Too was going that's down that's true yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah he knew did he retire was coming. I got fired he retired he retired he, he <laughs> I, I don't know actually maybe he got you maybe know he was suggested maybe he was yeah, yeah, yeah. asked to leave the miracle whip expired yeah mm-hmm Way past the sell by date. <laughs> yeah, he's truly. A I like man to of think God. he was an actually like good professor back in the day. He just got lazy because he was he was not professor but teacher because he was there for like thirty years. He right? so you think he, he was like killing like, it in those first like fifteen? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He felt like <laughs> a like, college teacher looking back on it because yeah. like, he definitely felt like somebody who was way more interested like in the idea and like research of chemistry yeah, than he was so. in the actual application of like teaching kids mm-hmm. and so clearly because that's what all like college professors was, are where they're bored, like people yeah. who want to do research and they're like I gotta teach all Dude, these fucking kids I had kids an accounting open. professor who it was his last fucking semester teaching and he was such a dick he was just like I don't give a shit about any of you I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking I'm just not gonna give you any chances at all and, like people were doing so bad in that college <laughs> And, like, it can go two ways with that. Because if I had similar situations where they're like, I don't give a shit anymore, yeah, everyone, everyone gets an gets A. Yeah, that's the best. And this guy was just, like, burnt out on his job. It was like, fuck all of you shit. <laughs> There's, like, I wonder, because you, you, like, listen to, like, stories about teachers who are just complete assholes in ways where you're, like, you've just, like, lost some of your humanity, haven't you? <laughs> just your ability to say, this kid's having a hard time, let me throw him a bone. It's like, No. This kid will sink or swim based See, on the too many criteria. horror yeah. stories. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think any like occupation where you have to interact with people on like a regular basis and they're like changing, right? So not like coworkers, but like students or if you're fast food like customers, right? Like you're just gonna like start dehumanizing them. There's yeah. like no way I think, you could not if you uh, do it for long. Some enough. of the time, I understand it when like I'm in like a basic uh, like CS class and people are not doing well. It's like okay, maybe you should be cut out because you obviously aren't good enough at this at the base level well, that there's you're going to like, struggle leader... later on. Yeah, but there's a difference between like leader courses where it's like you are getting a bad grade because you're not applying yourself and you're learning this through a course that's like, listen, man, if you're not liking this here, you're not going to like it later on. Just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Versus like somebody who is like trying their best. Like I've, I've had friends who like, I don't know, have, like, really, like, who are, like, trying their best, but they, like, don't get something, and a professor is just gonna be like, listen, man, go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, listen, we're not, I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to do these lectures, record them, and then put them on the internet. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna help you with this shit. That's the fucked up thing about some subjects, where it's just, like, if there's, like, one concept that, like, you don't fully grasp, it could end up being, like, a key concept to some yeah. other shit, and you're just fucked. Right. That's I think, <laughs> and I you don't even you... realize that like that's the concept that you need to figure out for it all to come together. Yeah. yeah. And there's a fucking I remember that's that's how somebody described why people like say like I'm bad at math and it was all just because like one somewhere along yeah you're like way, building new concepts on, on top, top of, of each other yeah. not properly learned concepts from before. Uh-huh. Um, so like they and, just like they're like I don't understand and you're telling me more things I don't understand. Exactly. Thank you. And so they're just like I guess I'm just bad at all of this and it's like no you just didn't get that first part and then like if you were able to bridge that gap somehow and that's I don't know there's there's a whole like discussion about education and like wh- how you can like fix Yeah, I mean that it's annoying. Thing. I don't know what you could yeah. do to like yeah, remedy I f- that. I but... feel like some people will get the concepts faster and then like yeah. someone's going to be left behind. So either you oh, teach at, like, a slower pace I, to, like, accommodate those students. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, you leave, like, you know, I, I wrote I don't a, know No, I wrote a, I wrote a paper in, like, 
high school and I basically just recited a lot of the points for a paper in college about like how gamification or using like apps and stuff and using like the idea. level up yeah <laughs> no just like the idea <laughs> of um, of making like uh, like homework and stuff more reactive as opposed to just you do the homework you turn it in I got a bad grade I got a good grade it's like the homework yeah. there's a lot of like web work and nonsense where you can be like oh. Like, it'll, it'll tell you you got the right one or the wrong one, but there's a lot of ways that you could integrate programming where it would be like, okay, you got the wrong answer, but here's why you got the wrong answer, because you were able to, like, look through that. I think Make it more, like, personal. Yeah. yeah. yeah that yeah, kind of cool. thing will probably start to come around more once this generation becomes teachers and things like that. Yeah. Because um, now we're still stuck with, like, older people who don't know anything about, like, computers and iPads and all that shit. Yeah. And once we get people familiar with these concepts and, like, have been learning on technology since they were mm-hmm. young kids, like we have, we've been using computers our whole lives, and once we get to that point, uh, people are going to understand a bit better on how to educate uh, children who are like themselves, who are yeah. growing up in this technological era. Yeah, like, I had a class where, like, he would do the lectures, but they'd also have, like, videos that kind of, like, briefly, like, covered, like, what was done in the lecture. And then, like, a very short, really easy quiz over just, like, the basic concepts from that video. Mm-hmm. And that was, like, super helpful. Yeah. Because, like, if you missed a point in the lecture, you go back and do that. And it wasn't graded, right? It's just, like, <laughs> making sure, like, oh, okay, I get this yeah. base concept. And that was enough, like, even if you're dumb, like, to keep you on track, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the ability, because there's a difference, like, um, the ones where it's, like, this is suggested homework, you don't have to do it, but this is, like, the real homework, versus, like, here's, like, some base, like, that kind of stuff I really like, because then you're just, like, all right, it's not actually going to affect your grade to do this, but, like, if you want to learn how to do this shit, do this, do this stuff, as opposed to, like, hey, man, just watch the lecture again. You're kind of on your own. It's, like, yeah. it's like how this is the test going to be? I mean... Most of the time, you're, like, learning for a test. You're not necessarily, like, learning to, like, for learning's sake. Yeah, like, going back through an old lecture that's, like, an hour long. Be <laughs> yeah. like, which one concept do I not fully remember from yeah. this, for this yeah. thing coming up? <laughs> this is the best way to do it. <laughs> this is my best way to learn. Just write down whatever they said. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this conversation's a bit dry, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very educational, I suppose. It's just like remember yeah. in Golden Boy when what's his face, uh, it was like very educational. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see Golden Boy? We watched a few episodes yeah, and episode then the uh, Wyatt yeah. got uncomfortable. He's like, I don't want to Wyatt, watch more. Why didn't get, just get uncomfortable? Uh, I showed so for for our viewers, Golden Boy is the best anime of all time. Well, I showed the first episode. <laughs> best to a couple OVA of, series, <laughs> sure. And I showed uh, I showed like an episode to a bunch of our friends, and one of our friends got legitimately angry at the fact that this thing existed. Was he angry? Yeah. He was fucking. He was. I remember him he being like sexist. actually oh, livid yeah. because I mean, he's, it is a bit. Let's be uh, right. Yeah, but that's sexist. that's but the like, main character is also a fucking moron. Yeah, he's just like because I remember so I like was like portraying him as like the pinnacle of manly. Yeah, because he's an idiot. But it's like this guy's so cool, and the girls like fall in love with him at the end. And instead of seeing like the comedy in that, all that was seen was just like this is how w- society yeah. views women. It's like it's like no. I mean, it's definitely a bit dated, but yeah, yeah. I wouldn't get too upset about it. Because I still remember after we watched that, we had like this three hour long conversation about how like Bayonetta, is she empowering? Oh, yeah. Or, oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they, yeah, I remember yeah. that all too well, just because that was a very, that was a very weird, uh, I don't know, moment yeah. in, moment, like it was definitely a defining pause. Pause. <laughs> Good work. Defining. Yes, yes, yes. I don't no, think I, I, was cut in, to say. I was cut just in right on defining. <laughs> <laughs> say to start from defining again and fucking slice, slice it together. I was not. I, I had nothing of value to say. I was just. I was just going. Oh, you wanted a way out of talking, huh? <laughs> yes. Go, All right. Go ahead. I think uh, women should be sexualized more in our media. I think that would be good for them and actually more empowering. Yeah, I think Pyrrha and Mithra are a step in the right direction for I people. I think women should be grabbed by the ankles spun around and then thrown at the moon <laughs> that's cool that's a cool I think that's not a bad approach idea. i as as a man who's read page to page every hentai known to no man. <laughs> no uh, every page of men are better than women i know yeah no that's that's dick master of course very cool guy it's fucking name 
That's, I don't know. Men are better than me. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I don't know. Great, great book. Definitely a good read if you're curious about the title. Uh, it, it has a lot of interesting things to say. A lot, a lot of insight right into to society. <laughs> yeah, what, okay, let's talk about that new Cruella movie coming out. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be the, like, the Femcell movie. Yeah, well, it's Cruella. like a Femcell. It's, it's like the Joker movie for women. Yeah, it's like it's a Harley really Quinn. Like she, like, they turned her into oh, like, yeah, a Harley the... Quinn person. Uh, it's Emma Stone playing it's Emma Stone. Her? Yeah. 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 I couldn't really tell who it was for some reason. I, I was like... On the first shot, I noticed it was Emma Stone, and I didn't know what it was, because I was just, like, scrolling through Twitter, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I clicked off of it, and then I watched the Cruella trailer, like, again, because it was on trending, and I was like... This sucks. It looks <laughs> fucking When you first weird. said Curl the Ville, for some reason I thought that that was the evil lady from Little Mermaid. And I'm like, she doesn't look anything like, <laughs> like, like the octopus yeah. lady from the Ursula. Ursula, octopus yeah. Bitch. Ursula, yeah. yeah. They got them mixed up. That would be, I don't know. Cruella de Vil. the Ville, though, just the idea of making a movie, yeah. like, humanizing someone whose name is just, like, the villain. Cruel. Like, oh, yeah, is yeah, it one yeah, of the movies yeah. where it's, like, from her point of view? Yeah, it's, yeah, oh it's, it's like, a Maleficent, but it's uh, it's one of those things but, where I look at it, and I'm, it's the, the fucking... The it, main characters of 101 Dalmatians are the Dalmatians, so... And, they're, and she's trying to kill all of them to make a cult. <laughs> yeah. So, wait. Is <laughs> the point like, what of is, the movie. Is this plot... Is this concurrent with 101 Dalmatians? Because that... Cruella is no, old. No, it's, it's, a, it's a prequel. Yeah. It's a prequel. Cruella's that. old as fuck in 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. And she's really young in this movie. Yeah, but it's just... I don't know. It's it's like a... Like, what's the fucking Donkey Kong? Like, King K. Rule? Like, it's just the name that's just a joke, basically. Yeah. Where it's like, this guy's evil, guys. You yeah. get it? We're making this because they're evil. And then going back and being like, what if King K. Rule was misunderstood? <laughs> yeah. It's like, fucking what? Yeah, like, why is, like, 101 Dalmatians, like, let's see, which property do we need to inject some moral ambiguity <laughs> into? Probably this it's one about killing... Horrible... Over a hundred yeah. puppies. Yeah, further well, fur. The pursuit of capitalism, right? Well, yeah, that's, she's that's like she's just like a behind. high class, like evil person, which is yeah. a, a astoundingly like well nuanced story for Disney I or whoever the it. fuck made it. I think it was literally just she's like I'm high class and I want to make things. Yeah, yeah and you're evil. You're an evil person. If yeah, you're high well, because she like wants that. to kill the puppies. Yeah, and so how, how are they? How are they interjecting the moral ambiguity? I don't know. Uh, are they? I don't know. She kind of seemed to do crime in this movie. So yeah, but she does like cool. Crap. It's gonna be <laughs> that she's like cool at the start, but then like bad shit happens to her. So she's like, oh, I gotta fend for myself and be uh, yeah, be or, evil. Or I think she's like, <laughs> evil. I have to kill all these puppies. But she's like considered an outcast. <laughs> From what I saw in the trailer, it looks like she's considered like an outcast in high society. Yeah, so she's gonna be like shunned, which will make her like a bitch. Yeah, and yeah. That's which gonna be like of... that's gonna be like that's why. So we should be mean to people, <laughs> be... so they don't kill a hundred puppies. <laughs> that's why, like, and I don't know. Fail at it horribly it also i've never like, seen that under, movie how many puppies does she, she get, get before they stop her <laughs> she doesn't get any of them they, they they're don't. they're very slippery puppies uh, but puppies are <laughs> that would have been a better movie it's like she got 87 puppies but they stopped her there <laughs> but also she like get all of them. all the puppies like, oh, like, i can't finish the <laughs> sleeves on my coat they're they're puppies so you're not gonna get a lot of like fur out of them i mean there's a lot of like there's like but multiple it, because they're puppies but it's fur softer so better soft, fur yeah, yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's why you need a hundred and one. I want to see what the what is the process of skinning a puppy? <laughs> uh, probably the same thing as yeah. skinning anything else. Cut along the belly. Yeah. I would guess. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to like stitch that together so awkwardly. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's, gonna it's gonna look, look like good. shit. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I want. Th- I guess it would be like soft. You could probably you could make like some cool like puppy gloves, maybe. Yeah, yeah. but definitely out of, out of like four of them, it's gonna look yeah. like a like shitty homeless like patch from socks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did they, did they ever address socks. the fact that she can make synthetic fabric or is like I, I haven't seen I haven't well, that, seen the whole think, point is that you, you have think that movie fur. addressed the fact that she can make synthetic fabric. <laughs> No, all right. What the That'd fuck so are you funny. talking about? That'd be so like, funny. At the there's, end, there's after like, everything, when she's going like, to jail for trying to kill all yeah. these puppies, she, they're just like, you know, you could have just made synthetic <laughs> fabric, and like she's that. like, what? what? <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? She's like, what? She's like, what? She's like oh, I need the real well, thing. Well, like, here's what? the thing. There's actually yeah, a deleted she's... scene where <laughs> of her, like, an intern, so she's like, have you considered using synthetic fabric? She's like, hmm, let me look into it. <laughs> and then she's like, oh no, the cost will be too high. I'll just uh, yeah, use okay, yeah, that, all I, of these I, I, free puppies. She's very <laughs> that free. Is, that is what I wanted to see in the movie. Like, I don't, well, I don't they cut it because kids didn't like it. She, uh, yeah. she <laughs> hires like these two doofuses 
in the original 101 Dalmatians to like catch I, the oh, yeah they could have an origin story and I want, yeah I want <laughs> them to be dumb in, and dumber. In, in the new Cruella movie whoever these two fucking morons she hires wouldn't are, it be really funny if they're like she raises them from <laughs> from earth street urchin children to be her small like wouldn't minions. it be really funny if they had like a comment about like the mentally handicapped yeah, in that yeah. movie where they're like I'll take you under my wing because I also feel persecuted <laughs> and then they're like oh and these are the guys who uh, or just the goons. So like, you said that that movie ends with her going to prison, right? In the original. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I, I remember. Okay, pops. so ra- rather than doing a prequel, why the fuck would they not do a sequel where it's like her trying to survive in a fucking like hardcore prison? There's gangs <laughs> and shit. Hardcore women's Who is, prison. Okay, yeah. from an actual like uh, they could never do a sequel because they can't cast a young actor as Corella the Vil. Um, a, an the, old actor? An actress. Well, they, an they'd have actress? to cast an old actress, well, which is uh, not fucking, nearly as marketable. What's her name? Well, uh, you could do Meryl Streep, but she's not going to be uh, as Meryl, Meryl Streep as <laughs> old-ass Cruella de Vil in prison. That'd be <laughs> badass. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you could not... She would not give as big as a, of a poll as, like, yeah, that's fucking true. Emma Stone. Mm-hmm, sure. so, from well, a purely look, marketing from perspective, a marketing it's perspective, not Yeah, it sucks. But from, like, a fucking, like, how interesting it would be to see... Infinitely more interesting, How old is Jane Lynch? Can she play a good Cruella de Vil? in prison now. I don't know. Yeah, uh, what's her face? Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, old actor. Who's the one person guy? who like, went like, to evil It's a bunch, fucking uh, animated movie. What do you who's mean? the, uh, oh, the Activia voice actor? person? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, anybody. J- it was Jesse actress. Lee Peterson, no. Mary Lee Walsh. Uh, fucking, who's the Jesse one person Lee with the Peterson. Activia Peterson. commercials where she's like an old... Oh, uh, yeah, I know who, who you uh, mean. Uh, the Jamie fucking... Lee Curtis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's the one uh, actress that is in that one school shooter movie you're talking about? On the boat, the the. Oh, she's mom. not that old. Um, she's Sigourney Weaver. It's not Sigourney Weaver. Oh, I watched no, the. Yeah, you're right. Not Sigourney Weaver. So I watched the trailer oh, um, and. Who the fuck was it? She was in Gravity. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sandra oh. Bullock. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> wait. Why did I say? Wait, Sigourney it's not Sandra Weaver. Bullock. Not Sandra not Bullock. The movie you're talking. Are you talking about Wasn't a completely she... different movie? Because no, one... the one school shooter, the bow and arrow one. Was that not saying? Uh, we like? we need to talk about Michael or whatever. My my sister said that's a good movie. Well, so. she's fucking wrong. <laughs> Anyways, that I thought, lady... I thought this was a live action. 101 Dalmatians? Yeah, no. Is, it is, though. No, it's well, not. It's they made a, they, they they made made a live action yeah. version. Okay, that's, which that's was, what I saw when I was it, young. It's like I think I made yeah, yeah, an I actress it. wrong on that. We need to talk about Kevin movie. <laughs> I think I, I've misremembered. I think so, because yeah. it's not... Let's Sandra see. Bullock, I'm, I'm, I'm like, because we talked about Sandra Bullock a lot last week, I think. <laughs> and that might be where the wires anyway, are getting Anyway, whoever crossed. that lady is, she would play a good Oh, it's Tilda Swinton. Yeah, Swinton. Yeah, Tilda Swinton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I couldn't remember her name. Very, right. Not even close to the same person. All right. Yeah, yeah she's old, and she could play a good Cruella de Fucking, why is John C. Riley in that movie? I know. <laughs> seeing that was so funny. I'm like, this yeah, is I'm like, <laughs> he's like, Baby Roy, yeah, Baby Roy, do Baby Roy kill it for people. Baby, put down the crossbow. Oh, baby Roy, <laughs> it's just like um, I can't take him serious. Like that's what why I liked Kong because John C. Riley was in it playing a guy who you just like every time he spoke, you're like that's Steve Rule. <laughs> <laughs> like he's on this it's island just, beating just up like Steve Rule. Yeah, beating up lizard people, and he's like oh b- j- jangle bangle, and he's. <laughs> I think it's great. I uh, think the monkey cross the road. And I, I, I'm just sad that he's not coming back for Kong vs. Godzilla. John C. Riley impression is just her Liam. <laughs> yeah, that's all it needs to be. It's, it is one it, six of one, half dozen of the other. But they're right? practically the same yeah, character. Yeah. Character. Yeah. <laughs> I view Liam as like <laughs> Liam just been doing like performance art <laughs> all these years. He's just he just stops one day. He's like, actually, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, you really eloquent. I look it. down on all of you. <laughs> I'm really eloquent. Uh, I was actually. trying to immerse myself in your culture. Yeah, because I have a role <laughs> And I can up. no longer bear it. <laughs> Sean's no like, no yeah, I knew this is happening bangle the whole time. Me. Yeah, that's why Sean and Liam hang out alone so often, is because they have... <laughs> Very smart conversations yeah. with that. Maybe Sean's going to be like a They don't day. act like yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say jangle bangle. <laughs> a brungus. I don't know. Uh, what don't you know? 
a lot, so much. That's crazy. Same Let's amount. I don't know talk how to talk about all the things we don't. You know. guys hear? I... Uh, you guys watched the the new rover that landed on Mars yesterday? Oh yeah, no. I did. I did see that live stream. Pretty cool that we've already done that before. Yeah, I know. Yeah, kind of old hat. Kind of yeah, fucking way to do it again. It literally NASA just trying to struggle to find like. Guys, we can do stuff. We we <laughs> you can we do fund stuff, us. but we know all the stuff you can do. Fund at this us, point. please. We like, we can do these things. Moon? How? Just if they want to get people excited for NASA, make a fucking moon base already. Yeah, yeah. I know. Land someone on moon Mars bases and are keep expensive them as there. Fuck, do it anyways. Because like basically, get Biden to give you the money. Go into debt. <laughs> the way that they uh, the way that they like explained it is that the only feasible way to do a moon base was be to make something where you could turn like. The moon rocks into the Oxygen? moon base. Well, no, like you could because uh, like terraforming. Make like a cool moon cave house. Well, yeah. okay, like terraforming. Send is something, something up but... there in a rocket that you can live in, and it just has to sit there. Yeah, I guess, but it's also like a moon base. Just is... bring a fucking tent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. Just have a little like two person tent, and just it wouldn't be. Let's even stop be big giving enough. contracts to Raytheon and start setting up a moon base. What's Raytheon? That sounds like they a make, fucking... They make, they the make missiles. graphics oh. cards. Yeah, yeah, they sound like they either Ray make graphics, <laughs> graphics cards or they like are an evil villain corporation well, no, that's trying to give everyone a zombie virus. Was Raytheon the ones that had like like a little like parade for being like the most LGBT friendly company? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. They're like, they're one of our primary military contractors. Yeah, they like do all this military <laughs> contracting but like their gay employees are having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> And we just well, reinstated their contract. One recently. of the most evil companies in the Ever world. to exist. But pretty nice to gay people. You know, evil <laughs> is pretty inclusive. Like, evil <laughs> is one of those things. That's evil true. doesn't yeah, discriminate. Yeah. It's like, look, yeah. our chosen hate, people to hate, is our brown mom. people. <laughs> and is if you are gay and white, you are accepted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's always the trope in movies where it's like, this woman who's free with her sexuality, she's the evil one. Yeah. But as opposed well, stereotypically, to... evil is pretty gay. If you look at, like, Disney movies, right? Yeah, like, true. all the villains yeah, are I guess always Cruella's probably gay. Basically gay people. Do you, you know, think they're, do you think they're gonna, like, make a that? press release no. that's like, Oh, Corella is like Corella actually is bi, and lesbian, then it's just yeah. like they're not going to mention it at all in the movie. Well, well, like Ursula matter. was based off of like a trans icon, like Divine. I, I think. See that. Yeah, and then like Scar is pretty obviously gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely fucks the hyenas. <laughs> yeah, Paige, well, obviously. What Scar is obviously a gay man. <laughs> this I don't know how to explain. It, put it any other but way. But you just kind of got. I haven't know. watched any of these Disney. If you watch it now, Wait. he's like a very flamboyant gay man. Clearly, so yeah. the, the main bad guy, the, uncle? the lion, yeah, the main yeah. uncle yeah. lion. He's a gay guy, obviously. Apparently, yeah. Scar. If you was ask like... the guy who wrote like the dialogue for Scar if he was meant to be secretly gay, he would go. Wait, yeah. who think? <laughs> who is Scar in the live action? Who uh, Scar? Oh, I think I, I remember. He, well, he didn't. He wasn't able to sing. I remember. That's all I remember about. Him, exactly. And so they couldn't do be prepared. Uh, so. <laughs> is so it doesn't know fucking anything. Yeah, there's no, a live what? action Lion King. Well, well, it's it's been out for ages. King, like two what? years ago. Why yeah. do you guys know so much about Disney content? What the? Fuck? I just, this is just pop culture. I'm always this online. Is... I am always okay. online. It's not even an always online thing. Like this was like just an ad that I saw like on the TV, <laughs> and it's like, oh, cool. I guess there's a like I had fr- like people. You don't need to be always online to know that there was a major Disney movie that came out like, <laughs> yeah. like, like two years ago. I'm very involved that's, with the culture war. Right. I'm very invested in it. Yeah. The um, war... The war uh, was, did, you, did you guys watch the fucking uh, Joe Biden town hall? No. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the, the one that happened like two days ago. No. That's pretty cool. That was based as fuck. When the he best was like, thing about he's Biden like, we're is going to you're going to be able to be cages. <laughs> well, no, he, the now. other way. He was like, listen, <laughs> like China... Like, I know there's the whole, like, Uyghur thing going on, but I can't really comment on Dude. that because I'm not Chinese, okay? <laughs> That's what like, he said? That, well, no, he was That's like... not verbatim. <laughs> well, no, but he was like... No, but, like, he I basically just said, like, okay, like, well, like there's a lot... Like, he, he made this weird, like, rambling thing about, like, listen, the leaders in China, they go and they're like, the bigger the ones, the harder they fall, you know? But they've got to be a big guy. they got to be That's a big good. guy. That's so even though they're going to hard fall, they got to be a big guy. And then, you know, so I know that they're doing, like, the concentration camps with the Uyghurs, but I can't really comment on that because big guy's just going over there just saying, <laughs> big guy, and I don't want to blow because, you know, he hards fall. 
how much would the stock market drop if Biden misspoke and said the bigger the ones, the harder they are? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> think... stock market immediately <laughs> drops Just, thirty yeah, points. Yeah, we go into a recession from that. That would be, I think I, it, double recession. Time. Yeah, he'd do that, but then the only way to get it back is bringing out his Charizard. If he said that, we would go to war with China immediately. I think so. The amount of tankies that deny the Uyghur genocide is pretty funny to yeah. see. It's like, how are you going to be against America and not against they were, China? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, it's just so weird because there, there has to be, I guess, like, pop culture, the people who are like, well, everything is just analogous to Harry Potter. Like, that's yeah, the only yeah. way to view the world. There's only good guys yeah. and bad guys. <laughs> and so if, if if China is against America and America's bad guy, then China's they're, good guy, right? And it's like, guy. no. <laughs> no. Wrong. That is also propaganda that they are selling. Yeah, exactly. It's guys, like, for those listening, we're the good guys. Uh, we fucking, are the only good guys. Yeah, fucking the... China is fucking Voldemort and all the guys. China podcasts. Like, USA is like the fucking like police people that are kind of bad. Yeah, where it's like please, <laughs> and then they just like teleport out of there. This and would be better. This would be better if I knew we're the real good guys. Oh, uh, just us. Okay. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Us okay. four. We're Harry Not Potter. Taste. We're Not Harry taste. Potter. <laughs> we're Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, and Voldemort, with it, which is China. Tej is Snape because he's like kind of evil, but like he's also on our side. And he's gay. And he's what? gay. Too. <laughs> yeah. And he's Spock. <laughs> and he's Spock. Damn, being Spock is cool though. I want to be Spock. Uh, uh, you can be. Um... And actually, I'll be right. You here. can be like we're talking. Like we're, <laughs> we're, we're blending. This. We're blending. You can be Spock. Gen- you can be Kirk. <laughs> I'm Data. We're blending next generation and the. That's very different. The original series. So I, I gotta be Riker. I'm Data. Phineas can be Data. Tej is Spock. We already established that. That's it's well, different. No, no, what's the no. Line he's not. He says before Data fucks. He's like, I'm fully. I'm equipped with all. What does he say? I don't know. He says something about being sure. fully equipped my with favorite, all, my yeah, all mechanisms line. before you fuck some bitch. <laughs> I, I remember the episode where Data fucks someone. My favorite yeah. line from Data is like, are you prepared for the death you've earned, little man? <laughs> it's like the episode where Data goes crazy and tries to kill people. Does he say that to Spock? I don't know who he says it to, but he says Because I want to say it to Tate. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Right? What, what is a Star Trek series? What is a Star want? Trek? No, no, no. Which, uh, what, what, which, what is the next watch? generation? That's that the only one I should watch? Okay. If yeah, you're going to watch one. just the, one. The really watch. old one kind of blows. It's just like, okay. it's yeah. it's cool Look, from like a... the fucking J.J. Abrams movie. <laughs> yeah. The Star Trek on the right track. I, uh, it's like fucking, Star Wars. Yeah, it wasn't. The, so the fucking, uh, oh shit, wait. Who said the one, I think it was like a Fire Emblem guy, where he said like the line where it's like, pick a god and pray. Because I remember seeing that online. Where, Donald. Like, if anyone here would know, it would be you. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, only played one Fire Emblem, so. I just, no, but Were I they just, in Smash? Because then like, maybe I might know. <laughs> they are not, no. They're, they're like an axe user from Awakening. Uh, but I, I don't know. I just remember uh, hearing that and being like, that line's cool. That's pretty fun. badass. It's it so, is a cool line. Pick a god and pray. I'll give Fire Emblem that. It's a cool line. <laughs> yeah. I also throw like, the bone. I also like Lucina saying, I challenge my fate. That's a pretty cool that's, line. That's not that bad. Oh, it's I know cool. what I was going to ask you about. Jack, whatever happened, has Murray contacted us, or is he just ghosting us? I think he's ghosting us at this point. Mm-hmm. Maybe he listened to an episode. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's off, like, yeah. oh, these guys are reaching out for an interview. He listened to an episode, he's like, oh, wow, they sure are calling me autistic a lot. <laughs> Even though I'm not. To be fair, the one episode <laughs> that we put out after I sent the email, where he after he responded, was the one where we just purely said nice things about him at yeah, the very beginning. True. So but I don't. Maybe I, he listened to one before. Yeah, maybe he like was he really was into the, the show. One, right. The first true. He maybe just yeah. listened to the first one. Was like, oh, this podcast sucks. That's the most likely That's scenario. Definitely. Yeah. But I like to hypothesize that we've been. Caught you think Murray's in into there. VTubers? No. Yeah. No. He's probably, he he does, if he hasn't done level, any reaction videos to VTubers, no. That's a good point, yeah. yeah. We have a pretty good idea of what Murray's into, just by virtue of the fact that he shares it with everyone. Yeah, VTubers so seem clips. like they'd be really, really, like, easy reaction content. Well, easy reaction content, yeah, no, reaction easy content reaction. but also more than that, like, it seems like autistic people would be like, hell yeah, dude, VTubers. Sure, yeah, that's why am I not into them? <laughs> You, you just didn't have the... It's like the cilantro nerve, where yeah, it's like, like you like VTubers, everything it's about like there's something wrong. should point to me loving VTubers, but I just don't. Uh, I guess. I don't well, you know, like streamers, right? That's true, yeah. That's the yeah. one thing. That so I think I think just the idea... Uh, so yeah, I the mean, streamer gene, you don't have... True, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. I was into Kizuna Ai, and she didn't do streams. So yeah. I guess that's what it is. 
I think she just like play. They had like let's plays. Yeah, I mean, any whole of YouTubers that purely put out like YouTube content, it's all yeah, streaming. The I think the closest you're gonna get just like Hot Remote. Well, which just... you, yeah, you're not gonna make as much money. Just in yeah, general, exactly. Which uh, I understand completely. I fucking yeah, dude streaming. Well, make they make the a shit ton of money yeah. because. People will be like, they, if, they, if I super chat a hundred dollars, they'll read my super chat live, and yeah. I will have this immediate Dude, dopamine rush. How that fucking sick sad. would be if like tomorrow YouTube went back to the thing where like, all right, AdSense is based purely off of views, just that. Yeah, and just like no fucking like mid rolls, like you can put them in, but like it's not <laughs> Dude. a lot. Dude, that would be a ami- so like animators like immediately animators shoot up. shoot up, like sketch comedy shoots up, That'd all this tight. like ten minute like Logan Paul pseudo vlog shit dies off. Yeah, well, not completely, but well, yeah, but it's down. it's it's like less profitable. So Logan Paul starts putting out like twenty second videos, <laughs> yeah, um, which I would appreciate. Yeah. I don't know. I like his Pokemon content. It's actually pretty good. He did a good explanation of like Shadowless versus Base Set versus Gen Two. Okay, uh, and I I really appreciated that. I was like, he knows his stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you watched that kind of thing. <laughs> no, it's always on trending because Logan Paul does not. <laughs> you have to click I've on never. It. I don't know what has been on trending ever. Like I. Well, it, the only okay. time I ever know about trending is when, like, some, like, shitty, like, yeah. fucking, like, edgelord YouTubers. Like, it's bullshit. My video got <laughs> hundreds of thousands of views within minutes, and it's not on trending. And then mm-hmm. YouTube is always like, we've made it clear already that we choose the trending. Yeah. We, no, we just, I, no, it's not an algorithm. We just choose what we, we like and put it there. The, the thing choice. with trending, though, is on the app, it's like... Your you have like your um you have like your homepage so it's like random shit recommended to you subscriptions and then like your library so it's like all of the other shit is in that tab but then you also have trending so there's four tabs and you'll click through like three of them basically and so you'll be like well just look at trending and then like trending things are trending purely because like they'll catch your eye and be like. Ah, that looks kind of interesting. Look, I guess I'll watch that. YouTube is infinitely better if you just say, fuck it, I'm only looking at the channels I subscribe to. Yeah. It becomes so much better. I and don't... then, like, occasionally I'll look at recommended videos, but, like, I try to keep down I'll on look it, at my I... home sometimes because, like, it'll recommend stuff that I missed from channels True, that I'm subscribed yeah. to, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go yeah. back and watch that. But it other is, than that... The, you... fucking, the thing people, more people should use is the thing, like, don't show me content like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it actually is pretty effective. It's like... Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Getting rid of that shit. Well, because, like, people do it so rarely that when the algorithm sees that, like, you're saying, no, fuck that shit, yeah. they're like, oh, okay, all right, cool, yeah. cool, cool. We'll see what you'll click on <laughs> over here. Yeah, no, because, I mean, YouTube's, the entire point of the algorithm is, like, how can we make this guy, how can we make people, like, stay on our stay website? Here. But YouTube, honestly, is, like, a time black hole where, like, so many of the things that are on YouTube are, like, entirely pointless to, like, yeah. when you watch them, even something where it's, like, okay... When I watch, like, anime, that's, like, hypothetically, I'm not, like, learning or doing anything new, but I'm still, like, enjoying myself and having a different experience. What about in practice? But, like, in... But in, like, you... And sometimes in practice, I learn a whole lot. Yeah, it's like in that I'm, one about making animals. You learn all exactly. sorts of shit in that one. You learn... <laughs> oh, we gotta watch more of that. Some yeah, like in Dr. Stone. <laughs> favorite when, YouTube content to consume is, like, painting tutorials <laughs> for certain things that I want to yeah. paint for my models. And, I'm, like... I followed one recently for, like, painting some tentacles, and it came out really well. I was, yeah. like, super pleased. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. I'm glad people put this kind of shit yeah. on YouTube. Well, like, educational content am I gonna go? is also, like, okay, I want to learn something. You'll go to YouTube, you'll search it, and then mm-hmm. you'll learn that. Whereas opposed to, like, being on YouTube, because, I mean, I watched, I, I like, I'm trying to, like, scale it back, but I watched a lot of YouTube for a while. Yeah. And having, like, be pretty addicted. where you just, like, go, and then you just look at stuff, and then you go into your recommended, and you're like, I guess I'll watch this, and you watch it for, like, ten minutes, and it's, like, a video where you get nothing out of it. Like, there's so many of the, like, I've, there's, like, points in my life, because I was just watching YouTube, where, like, it'll be, the the night will just be, like, nothing. Where I'll yeah. be, like, the nothing happened at that point nothing in my Nothing was life. retained in my yeah. brain. It didn't matter. I've been watching a lot of blackhead extraction videos, and I get really annoyed, because I only like Ugh. the ones where the blackheads are solid and not gooey and, like, wet. And what? sometimes they're gooey and wet. Is there, like, a tag for and that? I go, no, that's the thing. It's, like, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes that's you find problem. a video called, like, keratin plug extraction, you're like, this one's pretty good. Maybe that's what I should use in my search term. And then you do yeah. that, and then you find some ooey-gooey ones, you're like, that's not what I want. You should yep. make, a, you should make like, a catalog or something. I should, should make a website yeah, where that's... I go, where I categorize them, like, just, like, dry, 
wet. What the fuck? Yeah, fucking, and then, like, subcategories on that. I'm like, well, which part of the body is you being know, extracted from? And I can yeah. be the hub for all... <laughs> I think people would legitimately use the shit. That would be oh, a fantastic like story. They would upload, I mean, the like, main categorization that needs to be too. made is driver's wet. Because yeah. that's the main schism among people who like this kind of content. You know what I see all the time on Twitter? First wet. Every oh, time thanks. someone gets a, a banger tweet on Twitter, fuck kind of likes, somebody will always contact them to advertise whatever this fucking, like, oh, blackhead, yeah. like, peel shit yeah, is. Yeah, where it's it like, oh, you put it on, and, and then you peel, peel it, it off, off, and it pulls out all your blackheads. Always under every fucking tweet yep. is that ad, and I'm like... It is a very... I like watching that. <laughs> yeah, no, I look <laughs> at that... But I... I hate seeing it but every time. Why would I use work? one of those when I can just go to my bathroom mirror and squeeze them out Well, you can't get all of them, though. Yeah, but you get the satisfaction of doing it one at a yeah, time. Or you could just way you get all of them. And that's not even healthy, because you want blackheads sometimes. Or sometimes, even more than that, when just... I get out of the shower, I just push up on my nose like this, yeah, yeah. and they all squish out. Of course. And that's fun. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, Or I you could just it. take like good care of your skin. Fuck off. I use uh, certain pads to yeah, wipe yeah. my face. I've got fucking, uh, I've got like this one skincare product. I just mangle my it. nose, I just squish it. What's the age where you grow out of getting pimples? When the fuck does that happen? Some people never do. That's fucked up. Some people are just naturally oily boys. I have some on my forehead because I haven't washed my sheets in a while. So uh, my pillowcases are dirty. Yeah, I get pimples good. There's, there, I think, no, the, like, um, my sheets get crumpled in such a way where I'm like, all right, you have to be washed at this point just because they, I've been sleeping on them too long and they get crumpled. I washed mine this morning just because for some reason I was just sweating like a fucking storm oh, last pig. night. Pig. I put my clothes in the like dryer. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh, no. The pig sweat? Pig sweat, or is that That's why they? No, no, no. They like they actually they don't like sweat. That's like why they go. No, well, because they don't. That's sweat. why they roll in the mud. Yeah, because they roll in the mud to cool off. What is the phrase "sweating like a pig" for then? I think Some it's just because people are fucking dumbass more. I didn't know shit. Like about dogs don't sweat. Biology. That's why they pant. Did I just make up that phrase? Am I thinking? Of I, I feel else? like it's a real phrase. I feel like, that's a I feel phrase. like I've heard that. Uh, it, I like, think pig is just is like a common like a analogy gross for gross person. guy. Yeah. yeah, gross person sweating like a pig. It's like yeah. eating like a pig. Or a is like an analogy that exists. Hatong. Yeah, fan of Hachima. She calls them hatons, <laughs> which means good. like Hachima pig. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> humans <pretty> sweat <laughs> more than any other animal just by the virtue that like we have like most skin, animals have yeah. fur? Most animals just don't sweat. Um, sweat's like sweat's one of the. Look that up. Which is which is weird because like what fur animal sweats. Well, the like sweat sweat is like something that is the reason why we're so successful as an animal. Just because <laughs> when you sweat, you don't have to like pant. And there's so many people who like because of their body yeah. mass, they like they can't be over a certain size or they can't do certain things. Right. Can Apparently, and... horses give us a run for our money in sweating. Okay. Really? Which okay. is why they have such good endurance. That makes mm. sense. Narajo Dene. Yeah, they can warm up a lot more because they can sweat. Like, we can. Yeah. That's why we were able to run so fast is because we... Or look, run so far. For so long, we sweat, yeah. Because we cool down off of that. Not that we're able to do that now. I doubt any of us could run down a deer. I, yeah, I could not yeah. run that long. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> do a light jog for <laughs> yeah. three days through the forest to hunt <laughs> yeah. a deer. Yeah. Yeah, how long were those hunts? They always hype it up in talking about, like, prehistoric man, but were they just fucking, like, running them down for, like, seven hours or, like, days? I felt like a fucking, like, I don't know, some sort of animal planet thing where, like, a guy was, like, hunting down an antelope, like, a tribe that, like, this still does this shit, and he ran after it, like, basically the whole day. Huh. Yeah, well, they had to be good trackers, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you probably are just... Like well, you're not seeing it most yeah, of the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. but as soon as you do find it, it's like yeah, it's fucking fuck exhausted. Kill that thing. <laughs> yeah, so it probably like it's exhausted. You sprint that motherfucker to, like, down. Chill. Yeah, it's and like, then you just constantly like, like you find it, it, it runs away. You find it, it runs mm-hmm. away. You find it, it's exhausted. You kill it. Yeah, yeah, that's badass. Dude. And that's what we do I just, with women. That's what I wish. At night. <laughs> that's the era. <laughs> that's the era I wish. Why would you say that? Because it's funny. Because it's funny to tell people that you kill women. <laughs> Jack, regular yeah. Jack the Ripper here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the era I wish I was I'm born like, in. I'm like I wish I was a hunter dad from doing some bad shit. <laughs> no. You're, you're, you're subscribing no. to the Joker policy. No, you're not. I'm Joker fine. <laughs> 
Not politics. even like Cool Joker, where he's like trying to do a message. Like, I'm, I just want to do bad things. I'm to one Ted Cruz people. vacation from going to <laughs> yeah. Texas and taking care of the situation. I'm <laughs> one myself. Ted Cruz vacation from going fucking postal. <laughs> <laughs> Go to what is it, Cancun? Yeah, it was all the video Cancun's games. Cancun's tight. I, was in I don't school. blame him, man. I like going. I to Cancun. I mean, like from a from perspective of like, like all right, as listen. much as I fucking hate Ted Cruz, <laughs> yeah. like what can he do in Texas that he can't well, do in yeah. Cancun? No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which he was not going to do in Cancun. Yeah, he has well, to no, but like from a yeah, it's like you have to also idea. be without power in a place. I mean, it's definitely bad optics. I'll say that. Yeah, from from a also he's not doing it. Let's we're joking, of course, but. Beto O'Rourke, of course, doing yeah. a lot more for Texas than Ted Cruz could ever dream of doing for Texas. That's is it. Beto O'Rourke is doing what? Well, yeah. What could he? Like, it's a power grid. Like it's it's a separate <laughs> yeah, power exactly. grid. What yeah, is you he can still do? make what calls, the help he people. Do? There's a you whole. You can still make calls. Should be like, is it back <laughs> Have a whole office for handling this kind of thing. You guys are making an argument. Oh, that's oh don't worry, citizens. They'll be back. I'll yeah, you can yeah. provide I'm help. A politician. You there, can, like, people sharing. are suffering. There's things you can do. You can't just say that he can't okay, do yeah. anything. Fine. Okay. Fine. What, what, like we're not expecting nobody's him saying to, like, fix the power. We're not expecting Ted him to be Cruz. fucking like electro, just shot power <laughs> yeah. back into the power grid. Like that's they not probably awesome. add like. Some and relief. also, your point is made moot by the fact that other people did get aid to those people. So like, what should he do? What those people did? Yes. What the people who did help did is what they would want. Ted Cruz been to and immediately just like, oh, you haven't been following, but I'm still gonna get in this bitch and fucking. God damn you! Act God like God I damn know. you! What happened? What happened? What happened? Well, Immediately what upon happened? A, a winter <laughs> no, no, storm no. hitting Texas, yeah, I, he I decides to go to fucking Mexico. Well, he knows that reason. part. Yeah, but yeah, like immediately, part. like okay, listen. But no, he like, had that trip of... planned for a while. Like, oh he don't just, no, he already don't just... bought the ticket. It's not refundable. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't just waste. You don't just go to Cancun either. on a weekend when you're like, I guess my, pa- I guess I better go to Cancun. No, you book that trip like four months in advance, <laughs> and then you're like, well, like the power is out, but. I also I, I took this week off, man. Like this is my week off. I love it's... the idea of Ted Cruz like fucking like talking to his wife just fucking he's like, Look, I work hard all day. She's like, I know, I know. He's like, I deserve a vacation. I've been having a hard That's time. So like in his official statement, he immediately passed the buck off to his wife and daughters. He's like, Yeah, they're struggling, so I was like, I'm just gonna escort them. They're to not Mexico. they're not running for re election, why yeah. not? Like <laughs> I <laughs> one of his daughters runs for fucking vice fucking presidency later on. They're like, yeah. what about the time that you forced your dad <laughs> to take you to Cancun? That'd be so funny if Ted Cruz was like, his optics team was trying to like Photoshop things where like he was chained up and the daughter was like holding him. Yeah. It's like, There's you're coming to a Photoshop to... image of him chained to the back of a plane being fucking <laughs> flown through the He's air. He's like, no, I have to help my constituents. Like, and it's like, beach bubble. He's like, no, I want damn. to return power to the state of Texas. That's like a cool steampunk idea is being like keel hauled off of a plane or a blimp or some shit like that. that Yeah, like an airship. Dude, I love airships so much in fantasy. Airships, that's all I want from fantasy. Aren't they just blimps? You can have horrible writing, fucking horrible everything, but if you have a fucking airship, I'll be like at least Are airships not just blimps? Yeah, No, because the bottom is shaped like a fucking water ship. So, like, yeah. oh yeah. So instead of that like, kind of so instead of blimps, yeah. where it's like the entire, uh, it's like top a big is, balloon on top yeah. of the ship. Yeah. Well, yeah, but <laughs> it's like a blimp, but the physics wouldn't work out because it's way too small to carry how much it's carrying. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes it cool. That's it why it's better. fantasy. Because it's it's a uh, it's fantasy helium. Look, if using. you add if yeah. you add enough gears and copper, you can make anything work in a fantasy. It's, world. The boats are made out of balsa wood. Yeah, so it's very light. <laughs> yeah, balsa. It's actually got a. Uh, Two and a half. Yeah, gallons the main way to take so out an airship carry is way more. Just throw a fucking match at the airship. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. fucking lights up. All that shit explodes. That's I. Who like the the very a very flammable substance helium. Who decided they're just like all right? So we know that this is like horribly combustible. Let's just let people on here. Around. Also, you can smoke on the deck. Why not? Yeah. Fuck it. Well, I mean, so. he's talking about that, but, like, there's, like, dangerous chemicals and all sorts of shit. It's just, like, the problem is a balloon is, like, no matter what you do, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be hard to make that, like, safe enough that bad shit's not going to happen, right? Exactly. And the, it's pretty like, blimps on their, like, on their head are just, 
like a very weird yeah. concept. Do you think now today, like obviously there's no reason to, but do you think with our technology today we can make like a cool blimp? way safer blimps that yeah. would be like viable? I'm sure, yeah. But then people are like, well, there's also this the this only... plane and these hot air bull like for like residential space, stuff. Yeah, yeah, for for like uh, what's it called? Like okay, if oh, you yeah, want to go slow, do for like advertisements. Yeah, well, the right. only blimp there's only two blimps in America. It's like <laughs> the really MetLife blimp and the, the Goodyear good blimp. Yeah. yeah, And then you, but most people, what they do for advertisement is on like the back of a really small plane. They'll put like a big yeah. banner, and because that's way more efficient than fucking Let's, getting a. Blimp. How much does it cost to do that? Let's do that for a podcast. Well, yeah, the, the blimps, <laughs> blimps require only like fuel to like up. propel them. You don't have to like. Do they have to manage the helium in the blimp? Well, it's gonna they it's gonna leak, right? I don't know. Uh, they have to manage the helium because if you're if you're like moving up and down, like I'm assuming that if you're able to move, oh, mm. I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're able to move up, I assume to move down, you'd have to like expel some helium or like replace that with air. Maybe. Yeah. But maybe maybe it's something where like the moment you put helium into a balloon, it just becomes like an eight way like real movement system. scientific podcast. We yeah, I know. Today. I love I love when we talk about things that we don't know <laughs> yeah. or don't have any concrete answers. Look, that's just fucking podcast culture. Mm-hmm. That's how you got to do it. <sighs> See, they bring they bring the fucking Goodyear and MetLife blimp to all the football games or whatever stuff like that, but. Uh, yeah, no, that was... Why don't they bring it to, you know, stuff that really matters, you know? Like, like, presidential elections? Yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. Why would they bring... Why, why, don't, they, they bring why don't they bring it to the Middle East, where it could really do some work? <laughs> yeah, where it could explode. Have that shit <laughs> hover over a small town in, in <laughs> Azure, Japan, and just snipe the people from up there. I think drone You don't even state. need a drone Drone are way you more you effective. You fucking land the blimp in fucking Syria or something, should be like, hey, we'll take you to America. <laughs> <laughs> and, then you, and then you crash it like the Hindenburg. you just fucking Hindenburg their ass. Yeah. Yeah. But you could have the... You could have, like... If I had a blimp, the only thing that I would be like, all right, this has to be in there, is a bottom that, like, opens up like a trap door. <laughs> yeah, so when yeah. you're flying over something, you're just like, have a nice trip, and then <laughs> fall uh, uh, something, and then I press a button. And fall then down and out of my blimp, <laughs> bitch. That's, that's what I'll say. And they'll be like, what? And then I'll press a button, and they'll fall down out of the blimp. That's what needs to be in the next Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. There's, a, there's a scene like that where the Neo space Nazis have Indy <laughs> Blimps. played by Shia LaBeouf in a, in a moon blimp and they, yeah. they drop him out and he has to whip back up into the moon blimp as he falls out but it's like space gravity so the whip is like yeah, going super slow and it slowly wraps around something. like Wonder Woman here's here's the line you were looking for Jack which we couldn't get earlier when you take all the Syrian immigrants to America when you're over America it's like you've arrived to your destination Please unload in an orderly manner, and then you trap. <laughs> That's very really fucking good. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> Shit, every blimp does need a trap door. Yeah. yeah. You think they got one on the MetLife blimp? I'm maybe? sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that they got one built in already. I'm sure fucking Snoopy or whoever owns MetLife is just <laughs> up in <laughs> Snoopy. It's fucking up in up in space, and they're just like, oh, we'll take you on the blimp, and like if they need to get rid of some people, like if they need to unperson some people, yeah, they, they fly the it over like the Massachusetts Bay, yeah, and they just fucking drop them in. <laughs> they fly. They... <laughs> They fly you're it gonna over be the... flying with the birds, okay. and then you're gonna be sleeping with the fishes. Okay, so uh, all right, hypothetical. You have this blimp. How many people do you need, and how high do you need to be up if you were like over the World Trade Center, and you to have a bunch of people in your the blimp? World Trade how many people do you need to like open up in order to like bring that tower down? How many people do you need to drop out of the? Blimp? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I a, feel like, like a... it's an astronomical. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like enough that they start falling off the side before you got there. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I thought you were gonna say like, large how many number. do you need to drop down if you timed it perfectly to stop the planes from <laughs> crashing into the <laughs> building? To redirect the planes. <laughs> Just create, create a, <laughs> the a met life shield. gets in the way of the planes. <laughs> they're not the even getting in the way. It's just like the planes are like, ro- and they're like, we have some turbulence. It's like we we avoided the towers, but how? And like the met life blimp is over that plane, <laughs> dropping <laughs> people bombing onto people the wing. <laughs> yeah, you drop them onto the wings so they're yeah. of course. They're like, oh my what? God. And they just, and then like, instead of 9 11, we 
celebrating. It's like, not that many people died, but let's take a salute to honor the people <laughs> who were dropped on the way. Yeah. yeah. In this alternate timeline, way more people died. <laughs> <laughs> but it's seen as like, we did it. We don't have to go to war. Yeah. We <laughs> Actually, then less people would have died. That's if we true, didn't have yeah. to go to Iraq and Iraq. Iraq. What, a, what heroes did this all <laughs> Someone <laughs> should fucking write a fucking movie where, like, someone goes back in time and somehow, through some weird circumstances, that is the only way to stop 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the, like, the, Charlie it would movie. All, the, the movie would end if it ends with that. Uh, it would just have, like, they would all be up in a blimp and then it would go in slow motion where it'd be like, uh, and we can be heroes just for <laughs> one, one day. day. Yeah. I. <laughs> and it's like as people are just like hitting the blood or as hitting people the hitting wing, the wing, just pounding, like doing a Superman like <laughs> yeah. dive into the wig. Like, ah! <laughs> I feel like that movie would definitely have a B plot where they like just found like the like most like tragic person who died during the attacks, and there's a B plot and just following them. It's like, oh, are they gonna die in this tower? I don't know. Uh, what do you think about the end they live because of the We Can Be they, Heroes? They're blend. saluting the people as they're falling Yeah, out they of the look board. out the window and they see the plane veering up course and they just do a salute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would, all what the would splats be, on the side of the wing. Yeah. What would be the reason yeah. that a blimp Dropping onto the wing is the only way. Yeah, like, uh, like well, we use bombs okay, like, you're there, and it's the, also the, yeah. The, the the plane is like hovering around because there was like a baseball game. Yeah, the, and the the blimp and is the, there. The, and the Air Force is like, there's nothing else we can do. We can't yeah, get there in time. Yeah, no one can get there in time. But the blimp <laughs> is right above there, and so they're just like they're right above there, and then they turn to their passengers and say. There's only one way. Like, we don't have oh. anything else to throw off. We don't know how to, like, if we got in the way, it would just go into our blimp and then explode <laughs> anyways. Yeah. So, like, how do we do this? And then they're just like, the only way to stop this blimp is if all of you guys jump onto the wing right as it's about to crash. I think the way to make viewers buy this concept is the premise is you have multiple people going back in time, right? And they're all trying. Back in time, okay. And they're all, yeah. because that's what it was. They go back in time to stop 9-11. Was it? Okay. And yeah, uh, one of them does, but then no, 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 multiple, multiple people do. Yeah. And so pe- no, but then they're all trying like the most obvious way. So like one guy like tries to tell the government, and they're like, "You're crazy," and they arrest him, and he can't. So they're like, "All right, so that's why that doesn't work, right?" Yeah. And then yeah. another person, I don't know. They they just try all like the obvious solutions. Yeah. And then like show it failing with these other time travelers. So then yeah. this other guy like looks like I gotta think outside the box, <laughs> <laughs> or inside or, the blimp, or outside the blimp. <laughs> outside, looks like yeah. I gotta think, I think outside the blimp. <laughs> sure, yeah, that'll be the yeah. that'll be like in the trailer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's the title. outside the blimp. Yeah, <laughs> outside the blimp. Outside the blimp. Colon based on a true story. Yeah, and based like in the trailer, the, the like the opening <laughs> part of the and then in parentheses nine <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Yeah. So outside the blimp, Colin based that true story, parentheses nine eleven. Yeah, this is the sub. The subtitle is based on the truth. <laughs> the, fucking, the fucking opening of this would be like a sepia tone flashback to like a guy flying a blimp with his dad, and it's like my dad showed me how to fly a blimp at yeah. a young age. They're like, we gathered you all here for your specific skills, which we think will be useful. It's like you, a uh, master, very charismatic master manipulator. You, uh, fucking like. Yeah. You was see- the most decorated U.S. soldier in the U.S. Army. It's like, Cut. you! Chris Cotton. Pretty good at flying a blimp. <laughs> he's like, and then there's a scene in the movie, he's like, why did they pick me when I could only fly a blimp? What is my purpose? <laughs> fly a blimp and also... And he's like, wait a minute! <laughs> no, but there'd also be a flashback where it's like, he's modifying his dad's blimp to have a trap door, and he's like, son, there's no situation where this would be useful for the common good. <laughs> like, I'll show you, dad. <laughs> And then <laughs> he's like, why did they... I only have trapdoor installation experience and blip flying experience. Those are the two things I can do. <laughs> it's okay. it's this scene where he's dropping the people and he's like, <laughs> he's saluting. He's like, American heroes, they'll all get a purple heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or just a purple <laughs> heart. Imagine, the, like, imagine if that was just like a residential blimp ride and none of the people on the blimp actually knew that they were like helping. <laughs> no medals so, of honor. No, and so like hearts. all of the family, they were like, <laughs> like one of their kids is like, I'm going to go on a blimp ride, mom. And they went on the blimp ride, they die. And then the mom gets like, your, your child died in battle, but here's his purple heart and what she's what like what the game. fuck <laughs> what if what if before he drops all the people he has like a less fucked up plan right so he hijacks his blimp there's a bunch of people on it and he's, and he's brought all these like 
frozen turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> and he drops that. He's like, it wasn't enough. It we need more mass. <laughs> but where can I get it? And then he turns around out of his blimp driver's seat and he sees a crowd <laughs> of people and like <laughs> they're all like what's going on and like, like, the idea that, like trap is, is, Wait, so the people don't know they're all like <laughs> dining on like fine wine and yeah and dinner and well no they're scared because the blimp has been hijacked by this man <laughs> okay so and he, he just wait. dumped a oh, bunch of turkeys yeah, out of yeah. a trap door and they're like we don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> and then he's like if you could all stand where the turkeys were a moment ago. And he's like, there's a lot of people in this blimp. Hypothetically, just enough to d- d- kilter a cl- plane just he, off the There's a scene where he goes to every person and asks how much they weigh. And as a calculator, he's adding it up. He's like, it just might work. Just enough. <laughs> I, the I exact did, amount of we weight were a needed few to pounds tear off. this plane off course. <laughs> I do like how he tries the turkeys and then they can't like correct the plane. Yeah. It's literally just the like... The plane is not yeah, moved it's, beyond. It's, <laughs> where the they're like is. a little down and they're like, oh, we got turkeys on our wings. What do we do? He's like, just keep heading for that tower. Just keep flying that way. I, I will be king. And we could be heroes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. This movie would be fucking awesome. Outside the book. Based on a true story, <laughs> I like the idea that, and we can be heroes. Like keeps coming back. Like there's a like there's okay. So there's three plots, right? There's, you gotta, you gotta there's the guy. The right? There's like, a guy going back in time, right? And it's yeah. following him. There's another plot where we're following the terrorist, and there's like kind of like a guy who's like not so sure. He's like, oh, I love Allah, but is this really what he wants me to do? Right. Okay. And then there's a woman who has a. She's pregnant and she, and she works at the World Trade Center and th- we're following her just to like kind of mm-hmm. up the stakes mm-hmm. and uh, all of them get a scene where we could be heroes plays. <laughs> I think I think that should be a light. I think that should also be like a light motif. So when the guys like <laughs> light yeah, motif yeah, so when of the guys David like Bowie song. Yeah. <laughs> so when the guys like uh, editing the plane where he's like, son, why are you adding a trap door to this blimp? And then he just turns around to his dad and then we can be heroes, but just the instrumental plays in the background. It's like. Dun 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 dun. So for the guy, the guy where it plays, we could be heroes is obviously where he manages to successfully veer it off course, and all the people are splattering against the plane wing, dying, dying on impact. Some of them live barely. They're like, what's going on? They're on. They're still on the plane wing. Yeah, yeah. And so that's so wild. They're like going like, what the fuck? It goes, and we could be heroes. And then the terrorist gets one where he's like. He thinks he's about to hit the plane. He's like, this is for Allah to kill the infidels. And like, why he's saying that themselves. He goes, and we can be here. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then what's what's the woman scene? The pregnant woman who works the World Trade Center. She's what's her looking scene? outside the window oh, of the plane. And then, I don't know. She, no, she how about, vigorously how about belly. she takes, no, she has her baby. It's yeah, a new like, baby. Yeah, and then she throws it out the window. <laughs> how about this? And she's like, the plane's going to hit. We <laughs> don't want my baby. It's like, <laughs> she's like, she realizes what's going on. It's like, there's a, just a little more weight and she starts going to labor and she's like Ugh, perfect <laughs> tosses the and then, fucking but football it like off. shoots out like a rocket onto there it's like Chow! I was gonna say there's a post credit scene where she you see her give birth and then she's holding the baby and then that goes and we could be heroes <laughs> and that's the that's the guy that with the go back in time to stop oh, 9-11 that's the guy oh. he's born oh, oh, no. oh, 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 holy oh, shit oh, oh, <laughs> But he, but his but mom, he would have died anyway. No, but he changed something, so it's like, well, his mom was not. He no, he's he would have died born, in 9/11 He's anyways, born, though. and then two FBI agents come in. They're like, we're gonna need to give him this human growth hormone. And he's <laughs> like, why? And he's like, you'll understand later. You'll understand in the future. This plot is oddly complicated. So let's say, like, how about to go back in time? There's bracelets, right? Sure, 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 sure. Okay, we're and, getting and, into and, that. No, 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 we don't like go to in it, but we just do that so we can see the FBI agents at the end have bracelets on oh, to explain yeah. that they came uh, okay. to ensure that he's ready to yeah. be sacked. Oh wait, how about he was about to die nine eleven? That's why he wants to go back. But then like he does something where like his mom was like, "Oh man, I got in a car wreck, so now I can't do that." But he like accidentally makes the car wreck not happen so she goes to work at the World Trade Center and he's like now I've really got to do this or else I'm going to be unborn and so yeah 
Uh, okay. Some real back. To oh, the so they give stuff. him some personal stakes too. Yeah, of course. I this see. is this is Back to the Future Four. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Back to the Future Four. Colon <laughs> outside. Yeah, the fucking colon. The, the doc goes to Marty. He's like, "It's been weighing on my conscience. We have time travel, but we haven't stopped we any haven't of the world's major them. atrocities. We didn't even try he's, and he's think like, about what are you, what are you saying, Doc? What, what are we about to do? He's like, "We're gonna stop 9/11, <laughs> Marty." <laughs> And then We're he's gonna like, go back in time and stop 9/11. Then after that, the Holocaust too. <laughs> Wait, why 9/11 first? Like three thousand, only three thousand. Well, because that happened more shit. recently, so yeah, it's gonna yeah. have less of a butterfly effect. So he's like, that's how they kind of feel it out. Yeah, yeah. and then they're he's just like, like, I've done small tests, stopping car accidents and other small <laughs> accidents, just to see. <laughs> And it doesn't affect our timeline at all, Marty. And he's it's like, "It's fine. We can stop totally every fine. trust. And we need a. We don't need to explain it. We can stop the creation of Israel, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And we can be heroes." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like they're like fucking starting. They're like, let's see, where should we set up Israel? And they come and they're like, don't, no, and we can be heroes. Just <laughs> not the Israel planning committee gets just, shut down. Just they every... don't stop the Holocaust. They just stop the Israel yeah. planning committee. They're like, no, Marty, I tested that out. It, the Holocaust has to happen. <laughs> yeah. Listen, there's a lot of. We won't have Nazi zombies. It's, it's called accelerationism. <laughs> it brings us closer to socialism. Successful yeah, socialism, yeah. Mark. I've seen it. I went to the future. It's good. It's perfect. It all works out. And the future still has currency. But Israel doesn't help future. anything. People still I hate. went even further. It, it only happens if we let all those Jewish people die. <laughs> they were upholding capitalism this whole time. <laughs> Oh, that is man. I didn't know Doc was so based. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, That's, I didn't remember that being a part of his character. Holy shit! Yeah, I think so we've got a movie. Those here. are two good ideas for two good movies. So we know that one of our twenty viewers is an executive at like Fox or Disney. Yeah, yeah. They gotta make think about make it. it happen. Think about we it. Know, just we know kind just of credit us at least. Who's the going up to Michael J. Fox and being like, "I got a great idea." <laughs> <laughs> You fucking go to California, you see him at, like, a restaurant. Wait, yeah, and you're yeah. him with this. It's like, you stop Israel from being created. It's like, I don't want to. <laughs> we could not get this movie green. I'm not even the person who is in charge of it. I'm just the actor. It's like, you got to get me in. You got to get me in, Michael. Yeah, get right. me in the right Please. doors. I know you hate Israel as much as I do. And the what your leverage is, it's like, I created the cure to Parkinson's. <laughs> and and he's, like, have this? he's like, all right, I'll do it. And a couple of times where you like have it, you show it. Michael J. Oh. Fox, he's like, I'll be tricky. And then he tries to grab it. And you like get oh. it away. And he's like, uh, you. And then he starts... But he, like, is about to get it one time, but then he shakes, and it goes around the cure for Parkinson's. He's not <laughs> able to grab it. His hand, his hand jitters around the cure for Parkinson's. Parkinson's hand. Yeah. yeah. Man, I love making fun of people with Parkinson's. It's so yeah. funny. Imagine having involuntary shakes in your hand. That would suck. I couldn't imagine that. I'm yeah. totally going to get Alzheimer's and Parkinson's when I'm old. It's punishment. We'll probably all get par- uh, uh, carpal shaky. tunnel. Because uh, I'm going to oh, probably yeah. get that's, Yeah, that's probably going to be like a bad thing I'm for a generation. I'm going to get rheumatoid arthritis and carpal tunnel. I'm going to get both of those. Yeah. Combination rheumatoid arthritis. I guess we haven't, because we haven't like seen. Do you think like gamer chairs are going to get like a new fucked up, like people like that like worked in offices all their lives often have like bad backs or like people who like, um, pick up heavy shit for a living, right? But like is our generation going to be like, Fucking gamer chairs specifically fuck up this section of your <laughs> I know, okay. um... We're not, I, like, meant to sit at yeah. all. Well, I was, yeah. I was listening to... It was, like, a trend. Well, I mean, when you say, like, we're not meant to, like, that's, like, such, like, yeah. a broad statement. Like, like there's overall. a lot of stuff we're not meant to do that it's definitely good to do. Right? Yeah. But, like... But at the same sure. time, it's, like, I remember... But, yeah, just, it's not so good often, for you. Yeah. You practice your Because, like, I think, like, in one of the... They had, like, an animator on one of, like, their podcasts or whatever, and they were talking to that animator about like just like sitting down and he's like sometimes I've just like sit, sat for like three days straight and I had to go to the doctor and like go to the gym all Stop. the time <laughs> every time Knock every time in every episode you guys <laughs> you always started we gotta separate you two <laughs> yeah. they started we're gonna it have to, are we gonna have to separate you two I started it that was a lie <laughs> But fuck didn't he was talking about how like he was sitting and like his ankles were the problem because like the blood would start flowing into his ankles and not be able to like move out of there. So like he had these swollen ankles for a while yeah. and a lot of animators get that because they just sit down for like twelve for hours so a day. Long, yeah. 
That's why I'm kind of hyped for this VR shit, because i got to stand up and fucking move around with that. <laughs> That's, That's going to make me work out. You get some lose... ring fit adventure. I'm going to lose some pounds. I'm yeah, not going to do any ring fit or anything. I, shit. Ring fit's hard as fuck, It dude. looks hard, I, yeah. I bought it and uh, tried it for like a, about like two weeks or so, so nothing like insane. But every time I tried it, like that kicks your ass. Like r- Ring fit is like an actual workout, mostly because it's yeah. very dependent on like... It's more like, okay, you push yourself to do what you need to do. It is pretty pathetic for me how standing for a good amount of time last night while I was playing with my VR thing kind of made me a little sweaty. Well, I'm you were, like, like, doing stuff. I wasn't really doing stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but your arm is just more standing. activity than you realize if you're, yeah. doing it, if you're animated in that. Sure, a little bit. I mean, like, you're kind of holding it at an awkward angle because you're in VR. Or like, I, if fucking Jimmy Johns are just standing there making sandwiches, and I get fucking tired doing it. Yeah, yeah. standing is tiring. But that's yeah. also, like, Which a... Is sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's also, like, a choice thing, where it's, like, I constantly am, like, told things, and I have to, like, do them. Yeah. I would have a standing desk if I could. I just can't, yeah, move my desk. One of my internships, one. my boss had a standing desk, and he would mostly use it to watch PewDiePie videos while I fucking write articles for him. <laughs> Which I don't know what. He's like, write an article about this Dota 2 championship I heard about. I'm Respect. Like, what? Okay. Dude, I want He's that. Like, aren't you, I'm like, aren't you making an app about, like, casinos? He's like, yeah, well, like, it's kind of like esports stuff, too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, whatever, man. And I'm like, I'll write the article for you. <laughs> As he watches PewDiePie. It's Honestly? Like, Dude, it's like, how much can I Respect. steal from Polygon and Kotaku without it being <laughs> plagiarism? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they already put stuff out you're like you realize they put articles out on this like as Weeks soon ago. as it happens yeah. right like I, I heard about like yeah he just he just kind of this guy like, is like I heard it. about it yeah and he's like also write one about like the open AI that they fucking tested out at the thing I'm like yeah. sure man whatever wait wait <laughs> what? uh, this was like a this is like an app why is it like a news thing going on it also was a website that was somehow yeah, they, like they wanted to get into esports in a very vague sort of way <laughs> in a in a like silicon valley investor sort yeah, of way yeah yeah, uh, that kind of thing. That's there's a lot of like companies that got in and got out where it's clearly something where they're like, well, esports is big. Like, there's tons of people watching, e-sports and then they popping. made a company, and then they're like, wait, how do we actually make any money off this? We're just yeah. paying players. Yeah, their, their yeah, idea for an app was like, what if we had an app that could everyone in, who entered the casino could access it, and then they would just like tell them exactly where they should go to like do what like gives them the most satisfaction, like. Yeah, man, what if? You don't have that right now. <laughs> like, yeah. I've made a prototype that's, like, fucking, like, <laughs> you made it in, like, MS Paint with, like, the box tool. Oh, to, yeah. To, like, I add, like, fake buttons. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, there's a... And that's, like, and then, but then imagine if it worked. It made this cool yeah, there's mock-up. Yeah, there's a fucking, like, mock-up thing. There's a lot of, like... Okay, if there if it was a guy who's like, I have this algorithm that can do X, yeah, Y, there was and Z. No programming. Involved. Yeah. Like, it was him and me in that office for like most of my time there, <laughs> and they got like a programmer like fresh out of college, like right before like I stopped working there. Mm-hmm. That's like I don't know that your app's gonna work, <laughs> and he's like, I can program you like a very basic thing in fucking C sharp. That's all I got. I dude, like, there's so many Silicon Valley things where all they do is just like. Okay, here's an idea, and then they get a shit ton of money, and then they're like, okay, here's what I think a business like they they plan a business not around like what they actually what need. What I think a business looks <laughs> like, like, yeah, but what like a cool business yeah. would look like, and so they're like yeah. plenty of marketers because that's like the way that they got all their money, and it's like plenty of marketers and like a bunch of people to like mock up some cool sketches, like get us a logo. Then, like, one programmer, that'll do it, right? Like, that's all you really need. It reminds me of a Tom Segura (laughs) joke where he's like, I have a brother-in-law who thinks he's an inventor, and his inventions are just like, what if there was an app that drove your car? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. You get that kind of thing from people all the time. It's like, what if there was this kind of app? I'm like, awesome, good idea. Like, and when you're fucking, like, in college, and, like, that's the level you're operating at, like, that's, like, the kind of things that I would think of, like, when I was, like, Five. Fucking yeah, like yeah. seven or shit, and I'd be like, "Would it be cool if there was a fucking video game that did this?" <laughs> the difference like, is, yeah, like... if you could fucking make that easily, <laughs> yeah. sure. The, the difference <laughs> is like the the weird amount of like follow through where they have, where it's like it's it's not necessarily like they'll get it done. But they'll make it look like they're trying to get it done, yeah. as opposed to like, what if there was a video game where I could uh, like do fucking honey pop, and then it's like, and then you go in, and then you like do coding for like a day, and then you're like, ah, this is too hard, and then you yeah, stop. Yeah, you get an idea, you go around looking for some venture capitalist to hype up, and they go, sure, yeah, and they give you money, and then you're like, look, we got some money, that's growth. 
yeah. why don't you give us some more? And then yeah. it just snowballs until they're like, we can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna go. <laughs> the idea, it's like, so who was that lady in Silicon Valley who was like, it was like a medical really oh, thing? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I feel like we like, already talked about yeah, that. Yeah, like the, the one, like, blood one. It's, yeah. uh, like, She's like, oh, yeah, we could do, like, blood tests with an app or some shit. Yeah. And, like, she got so much fucking funding and she went around, like, a female Steve Jobs. Like, people were calling her female yeah. Steve Jobs. And then they're like, just because well, she had a turtleneck and was in a tech company. <laughs> yeah. And then it became clear that they, like, had no fucking clue how to make this shit. I, well, I like, mean, we're like, not even fucking close to making what they were promised. The the initial plan was like they're gonna have Jesus. a they're gonna have like a testing thing where it's like, all right, you put the blood in and it's like the size of a printer and you put the blood in and it does two hundred different blood tests for you and it's great and you don't have to send it to a lab. It's great. And they're like, uh I don't think that would work. And then they, like, made it, and it would do, like, one blood test, and it would fail, like, 90% of oh. the time. Because, like, you're, you're testing fucking blood in, like, a machine where it's, like, w- oh. that's the size of a fucking printer. Yeah. So it, like, wouldn't work. And then, like, there's a thing where they're like, oh, we're gonna, like, the for the most part, I gotta give her credit, because for the most part... Like, venture capitalists will be like, oh, we're almost about to launch. And it's like, oh, we didn't launch because we can't do this. But instead, she was like, oh, we're almost about to launch. Ooh, look, we launched. And the thing didn't work. Yeah. So what they did was they sent all of the tests back to, like, actual labs to get them blood tested. Oh, and then they were oh, like, look at what we did with our little machine. <laughs> oh, God. And so they, oh, like, rolled God. out They rolled out in, like, a Walgreens or something. And it's like every Walgreens thing. You can go get a blood test in this little machine. Oh, oh, and then all they did was, like, get the blood test. And then, like, the machine would break. And then they just send it all <laughs> to, like, a fucking lab and get it done. They're like, look at what that did. And oh, so, my God. so she scammed it hard. Oh, that was impressive. Did. I feel like she only launched because she's like, oh, uh, yeah, I can cash out now yeah that's enough for me yeah <laughs> well i mean she she was into it that's bad she definitely seemed like i the, just love that they're like the female steve jobs and it, just horribly failed because she were they literally only call her that because she wore a fucking turtle yeah well would, she was like steve jobs one of my inspirations would steve jobs smoke this joint probably Let's yeah. go fucking do it, Are we done? boys. All right, hell yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for listening. Bye, guys. Fuck you. Email us. Email us.